Yes, another grill. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at the Kamado Joe Jr. This thing has been along for a long time already. It's been four years, five years. But now I'm going to take a look at it because it's the first one in my studio. We're going to make recipes on it. So let's take a closer look. Of course, we need to unbox this first. And what always amazes me about the Kamado Joe is that the packaging is excellent. Very simple, very efficient. Almost no work. Look at it, it's already assembled and it's ready to grill, you know? Just take out the accessories, which are not many because almost all of them are already in there. There we go. Nice and secure. The only thing that's maybe slowing me down is this plastic wrapped around the base. But setting this grill up is literally only going to take me maybe 10 to 20 minutes. Ring in. Lid setter goes in. And there you go. Look at that. That's maybe 10 minutes maximum. I think it's even five more closer to five than 10. And we all set it up, took it out of the box and it's ready to grill. So basically this is the easiest unboxing you could ever do. The packaging is really strong and there's very little plastic in there. And why that matters to me is that if you have a box and you put something valuable as this, in your box you know it's got to be well protected it's got to be easy to take apart and to assemble because if it's hard then what happens is there's a bigger chance of damage on the grill and now it comes out perfect it's no hassle at all anybody can do it it's quick so you're ready to grill in no time and that's what matters so i got my big block charcoal here and we're going to fill her up and start her This is a small grill, so we don't need too much charcoal in here. Make sure they divide it equally. Place in these fire starters. Two or three will be enough. Light them up. Open the bottom vent a little bit. And there we go. This should take around 15 minutes to start up fully and come up to temperature. If we take a look around this grill while starting up, for instance, the top vent is cast iron, and that's different to uh, the newer Joes, the Big Joe and the Classic. It's still the old version of the top vent, but it still functions properly. And most barbecue brands have this top vent, but for the smaller grill, it's still perfect. Open it up, it rotates, works really nice. We got the big dial in front for the temperature. It reads in Celsius and Fahrenheit. We got a real nice grip in front of it. It works really well. I got it on the Big Joe and on the Classic as well. And the grip is fantastic. It doesn't change color. If you are, have dirty hands, just take a little uh, wet towel, clean it off. It doesn't change color. It doesn't change shape. It's perfect. As you can see, the stand is real sturdy. It doesn't move at all. The heat that comes down from the grill is not that huge that it will do anything to my table underneath but just in case you might want to be sure that you take a surface underneath that can't be damaged just put a tile underneath there if you have a precious table just to make sure you know you never know if you're gonna bake pizza you don't want to take that chance right but for me on this table it's perfect the filt is the traditional filt. It doesn't have the stainless steel filt yet that the newer grills have, but it's a nice filt that will catch most of the closing of the grill. It will really seal off any air leaks, so you won't be bothered with that. If we take a look at the back, and we see the hinge, 
stainless steel bolts, really sturdy. And for this grill, we really don't need a hinge with a, with a spring because it's so light that we don't need it. So the way this grill works is you have your charcoal at the bottom, you have a deflector plate uh, that you can use if you want to cook indirect. And if you watch my channel regularly, you know what's indirect. But this protects the meat from direct heat. So you can place it in or you can leave it out. Put it in the grill. And place the grill grate on top. This grill grate even has a hinge which allows you to feed, for instance, smoke wood, you know, chips or uh, cherry chips, apple chips, any kind of chips, or maybe a small chunk. And it gives you a big flexibility. But what especially makes sense that small ceramic grills, most of the time are just a little bit too small. But this one is 34 centimeters, which is around, if I'm not mistaken, like 16 inches. Yeah, that kind of makes sense because a whole chicken fits in here. A small pork neck fits in here. You know, you can be smoking, you can do some serious barbecue on this grill. And that's when it makes sense to me. If you make a grill smaller than this or a grilling surface smaller than this, then you wouldn't be able to cook for, for a whole family, for instance. So basically, this is a barbecue that does the same cooking style, same cooking techniques as the bigger grills. Of course you have a smaller surface, but you have a really good grill in a small package. And that's what I like about it. Plus, it's being portable, you know, you can put it in the, in the back of your trunk with your car, you can take it hiking, uh, block parties, whatever, you just throw it in the back of your car, make sure it's secure, and then you take it out at your friend's house. You know, it's not that heavy, it's heavy still, but two men, they can lift it easily. So the big question is, why would you buy a grill like this? For instance, over a classic. Well, this is cheaper than this is. So this is like, I would consider this to be an entry level grill, or you would really wanna like move it around a lot. Be, you don't wanna take it on holiday with you, or um, I don't know, tailgating, something like that. That's a perfect drill for that activity. Or you want to have it next to your classic or your Big Joe, where you can have your Big Joe smoking and you can sear something on or off of this grill. I think that is what this grill is perfect for. Well, taking a look at this Joe Jr., it's a fun grill. It's small, it's compact, and uh, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun making some nice recipes on this grill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Pitmaster Ricks, I'm out.